Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The calendar view displays the tasks within the project in a calendar style. This view helps you to show which tasks are scheduled for which days in a calendar layout. To open the calendar view of a project file, click the calendar button in the task views button group on the view tab of the ribbon. Within this view, each task is represented by a rectangle that contains the task name and its duration. You will also see the format tab of the calendar tools contextual tab appear within the ribbon. You can use the buttons within this tab to change visual aspects of this view. You can click the Text Styles and Grid Lines buttons in the Format button group on the Format tab of the Calendar Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to change the appearance of text and grid lines in the calendar view. Formatting these features in the calendar view is the same as when formatting them within the Gantt chart view. You can review the lessons titled Formatting Text in a Gantt Chart and Formatting Grid Lines in a Gantt Chart to familiarize yourself with these tools again if needed. To change the appearance of the task bars within the calendar view, click the Bar Styles button in the Format button group on the Format tab of the Calendar Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Bar Styles dialog box. Use the Task Type list to select the type of task bar to format. To set the bar type, pattern, color, and split pattern, use the drop-downs in the Bar Shape section. To apply a shadow to the type of task bars, check the Shadow checkbox in the Bar Shape section. To round the durations shown in the calendar for the type of task bar, check the Bar Rounding checkbox below the Bar Shape section. To show other data field information in the bars instead of the default name value, Click the Fields drop-down and then check the checkboxes for the names of the fields to display within the taskbar. Click outside of the drop-down menu to close it when you are done selecting the data to show. Use the Align drop-down to set the alignment of the text in the bars. To wrap the text in the bars, which can create bars of differing heights, check the Wrap Text in Bars checkbox. When finished, click the OK button to apply your new taskbar style to the type of taskbar you selected. You can click the dialog box launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Calendar Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to open the Layout dialog box. Here you can choose the method to use for displaying the calendar and its tasks. You can select the option to use the current sort order or attempt to fit as many tasks as possible in the view. You can check or uncheck the checkbox to show bar splits and use an automatic layout. When finished, click the OK button to apply your settings. You can click the Layout Now button in the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Calendar Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to apply the layout that you set if you change it. You can also click the Adjust Week Height button to adjust the row height of weeks that are shown to only accommodate the height of the tasks they contain. Note that to undo this action, you must click the Undo button or manually resize the week heights to return them to their default height. You can place your mouse pointer at the bottom of any week shown until it turns into a single horizontal line intersected by a vertical arrow, and then click and drag to manually adjust the height of week rows. You can also click a day shown in the calendar view and then click the Task List button in the Show Height button group on the Format tab of the Calendar Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to display a Tasks Occurring On dialog box that lists the tasks occurring on that day. You can double-click a task in this dialog box to view its details in the Task Information dialog box, which you can close when you are finished. You can also click the Close button within the Tasks Occurring on dialog box to close the dialog box when finished viewing it if needed. You can check the Project Summary Task checkbox in the Show Hide button group on the Format tab of the Calendar Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to show or hide a line for the Project Summary task within the Calendar view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.